Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever this video finds you. Um, today I'm doing a really, really old dog. Um, he just had to get the scoops out of his eyes. He had some really nasty gunk. I already did that. I already gave him a bath. Um, he's an old man. This is Toby. He's just shivering. Poor little guy. Um, I have to demat his ears and brush him out. Um, he's an old man. He was born in 2007. He's very cold. He's very sweet. Um, sometimes we get older dogs in here like this that are very, very, it's honestly very heartbreaking to groom. Um, and actually it can be very scary situation because um, you don't know if they're going to make it off your table. Uh, these kind of dogs you've got to be extremely careful with. Um, he dropped off last. But I want to make sure he's out first, so that this way he can just be home. He is a very sweet boy. He's a Bichon Frise. Actually, no. Sorry. He's not a Bichon Frise. He's a Poodle. He's a miniature Poodle. I don't know what's a Bichon. Right now, I'm just brushing out all of his hair. Um, I will put the dryer on there, but I want to try and get some of this stuff out. There's little wing wings out. I gotta try and see if there's any, uh, you know, hair around that, and uh, see if it's stopping any petals. Very, very mad. Like they are mad. Um, I'd really like to shave it because he's an old dog and I don't think he needs to be put through the brushing. But I don't know if the owner would be okay with that, so we're just going to try and brush these knots out. And this is literally probably what he does all day, is just lay down and whine. Now, this brush that I'm using is a Chris Christensen brush. And it is pulling up this knot very nicely. I'm putting my fingers underneath the base of the knot, so this way it's not pulling on his coat as I'm brushing it. I'm doing it no different than I would brush my hair or my daughter's hair. Um, and sometimes you just gotta brush it all, but for the most part, I try to, if I can, I try to get underneath where the mat is and try to hold it. You know, for a really old dog, he does have, he still has really good hair, which is crazy. But sometimes I get poodles in there like a year old. Yeah, no. Debbie in the last few videos. Um, she recently got her tooth out of her throat. Uh, I believe it was Friday or Saturday. So she's now off the ventilator. She is on a BiPAP machine now. So we'll see if there's any updates today. I did make a GoFundMe page uh, to try and help offset any financial burden. Um, so when she goes home, she doesn't have to stress about medical bills. I mean, she'll still stress about it, but hopefully, you know, with any money that I raise, I'll hopefully alleviate some of it, you know, with the bills, the gas going back in front uh, from her family, you know, tagging out, being with her while she's been in the hospital for the past three weeks, four weeks, whatever it is. Um, and you know, with food and home bills and stuff like that. 
because I don't know when she's going to return to work. I don't know if she's going to be able to return after work, to work after this. Um, so I know it's not much, but at least I can at least try to do something to try and fundraise for her. And she didn't ask me to do this. She doesn't even know about it. Her family doesn't even know about it. Um, so I wanted to at least see if I could at least get up to 500 before I say, hey, I need a good fund me page. Um, but I'm sure they probably know about it by now. But if you can click that link down below, even a little as a dollar, five dollars, anything helps. It adds up. And if you can kindly share it, I would greatly appreciate that. I will put the link down below in the uh, comment bio description center area of Pima Digger. I know, buddy. You're doing so good. Toby is actually one dollar that she would normally bring. He's got a looks like he's got a yeast infection going on, and that could be exactly why his ears are knotted. He's sitting there trying to get the knots out. Not. Shut up, Melissa. Breathing before you speak. Yes. He's not trying to pull out the mats. He's creating the mats. Sometimes I get lost in my thought and I go a completely different direction that I'm supposed to go. Shave the hair around his little wing wang. See if there's any hair. Right, buddy? 
I know. I know, you're doing such a good job. I know, you're so good. You're just a good boy, I know. Let's keep this down. Now on his eyes over here, he has some nasty crusties, man. They were like big clumped over his eyes. Uh, I couldn't leave them there. I soaked his face and I had a, I had to clip them out. Uh, I do that to my Winston and my Winston gets really, really pissed at me. He absolutely hates when I brush the hair there. <clears throat> he gets really pissed at me. He bites me. Or her wine. I just want to kind of get the hair over your visor. I don't, I don't, I don't want your mouth. I just, I just want you to rest your chin. I know. I know, you poor little old man. Now, when you have an old dog like this that really has a hard time standing, or you know, you're not really out to try and get the best haircut. Uh, he's actually here just for a bath. They just really want the around the eyes trimmed out. So I literally shaved over his eyes to get all that goop out. This way it also won't grow back as fast. I know. I'm going to have to do this. Okay. I'm going to try and get some of the hair away from the ears. Perfect. I just wanted to trim up the top knot just a little bit so it's a little bit taller. I'm going to clip his toenails. And his toenails aren't really that long. But since he is old, I still want to clip them. Um, the reason being is because when he does walk, any pressure that he has on his feet, that makes his nails go from instead of this to this. Um, He's going to feel it in his spine. He's going to feel it in his legs. And it just it doesn't feel good. Um, so I'm going to try to alleviate any pressure anywhere. And then I'm going to blow him out. I'm actually going to wrap his feet really quick. And then I'm going to blow him out. To get any of these curls out. And then he will be all set and ready to go. I felt really bad when he was in the tub. And I had really warm water on too.
one spritz of that. Drop them. They, just, they just they just stop working, and it's mainly because when they fall down, the they get chipped. All right, so I'm going to take this attachment off, so it's just this, so it's not as crazy. And we're just going to blow out. Try to get these curls out. Of Like I'm not looking for perfection, but I at least want to try and make him look good. I mean, I know he's an old man, but I want him at least to feel good. This can be really, this can be a lot for a little dog, especially at this age. So, I'll see when he goes home and goes back. Now, I did see him run his butthole pretty close. I guess I'll stand up now. today and around his eyes. Uh, like I said, he is a senior dog. So I'm just trying to do the bare minimum. I know. I don't do a lot of videos on old dogs like this because it can be very heartbreaking to watch. Um, so that's why I, nor I normally don't post them that often. You did good, kid. I know. 
You did good, kid. You, you, you did good. All right. I think that's going to be it for him for today. Um, he got his bath. He got a blowout. He got a brush out. Trimmed around his eyes so that he could see. He didn't have the gloopies there. Did it around his pads, his private. Helped him get his little picker back in so he didn't have issues down there. Um, so we're going to put him back up and give his mama a call. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when uh, I post videos on here. I try to do it throughout the week because uh, usually the weekends I don't work. Um, so Monday through Friday, there's always content on here. Um, please make sure to check out Miss Debbie's GoFundMe. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, even, if, even if you couldn't, sh you know, donate, just share it. Sometimes just sharing it gets it out there and gets somebody else, oh, well, you know, I could, I could do $5. $5 is a lot. Um, but anyway, thank you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye, Toby.